The Sudarshan S400 system had a remarkable success rate, effectively shooting down 80% of the simulated enemy fighter aircraft while forcing the remaining aircraft to retreat and abort their missions. The exercise took place in a theater where one of the IAF squadrons had deployed the long-range air defense missile system, indicating a significant boost to India's air defense capabilities. Earlier, in October 2018, India signed a contract with Russia to acquire the S-400 air defense missile system. The deal, worth around $5.43 billion, included the purchase of five S-400 batteries. The system was first delivered to India in December 2021, and the Indian Air Force began integrating and testing the new technology. The S-400 Triumph, NATO designation, SA-21 Growler, is among the world's most advanced long-range air defense systems. It is capable of detecting, tracking, and destroying aircraft, drones, and ballistic and cruise missiles at distances of up to 400 kilometers and altitudes of 30 kilometers. The system can engage multiple targets at once with a variety of missile types, forming a multi-layered defense shield. The S-400's key features include its extensive range and altitude capabilities, which enable it to target aerial threats from distances of up to 400 kilometers and altitudes of up to 30 kilometers. It has multi-target capability, meaning it can track and engage up to 80 targets at once. The S-400's advanced radar systems allow it to detect stealth aircraft and other low observable targets. Furthermore, the system is mobile and can be quickly deployed and redeployed to different locations as required. The successful exercise of the Sudarshan S-400 air defense missile system demonstrates India's expanding defense capabilities and strategic preparedness to counter aerial threats. The integration of such advanced systems into the IAF is expected to significantly improve the country's air defense and deterrence posture in the region. Earlier, Russia and India had signed a deal to buy five squadrons of the S-400 air defense system, of which three have already been supplied, while the remaining two could not be supplied on time due to developing situations in view of the Russia-Ukraine war, which is still ongoing. The Russian side has informed that they would now supply the two remaining squadrons of the highly capable air defense systems by August 2026, defense sources told Ani. The air defense system is capable of hitting targets at 400 kms and can be very effective against fighter jets and cruise missiles. The Russian side was expected to deliver all the systems by 2024 but had to change plans due to its own requirements in the ongoing conflict there. India and Russia signed an over 35,000 crore rupees deal for five squadrons of S-400 air defense missiles, and all deliveries are anticipated to be completed by the end of 2023-24 but there may be a delay in this time frame. The overall deal, worth over 35,000 crore rupees, was intended to be fulfilled by the end of 2023-24, but this timeline may now be delayed due to the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war. The two remaining missile squadrons of the S-400 air defense missile system are going to be supplied by August 2026 and will help in making our air defense system further stronger, defense sources said. NDIA has already received three squadrons of the air defense missile system out of the five ordered in 2018. Furthermore, 
The Indian Air Force IAF, has activated the three S-400s received from Russia. The type of deployments that have been made suggest that we have at the moment almost 1.5 squadrons each on China and Pakistan front, sources explained. The system will also be complemented by existing air defense systems including the medium-range surface-to-air missile MRSAM, of the three services. The first three squadrons have been operationalized in the northern and eastern sectors respectively, and have taken part in aerial exercises as well. The first squadron arrived in December 2021, the second in April 2022, and the third in March 2023. The third squadron is stationed near the Pakistani border to protect against aerial attacks on Punjab and northern Rajasthan. The system can take on enemy ballistic and cruise missiles, fighter aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, flying at distances up to 400 kms. Besides this, the S-400 has been designed to defeat electronic warfare aircraft, airborne early warning and control systems, and reconnaissance aircraft. The Indian Air Force, which has recently received various indigenous and Israeli missile systems, anticipates that the S-400 will significantly enhance its capabilities. The force is also developing its own long-range defense system, Project Kusha, in response to Chinese military deployments across the line of actual control.